Boingo Wireless Incorporated, Nasdaq Wifi, had its target price upped by analysts at Credit Suisse Group from $24 to $26 in a report issued on Friday. The brokerage currently has an outperform rating on the technology company's stock. Credit Suisse Group's price target indicates a potential upside of 3.59% from the stock's previous close. A number of other equities research analysts have also issued reports on Wi-Fi. Craig Hallam upped their target price on shares of Boingo Wireless from $24 to $28 and gave the company a buy rating in a research note on Friday. Oppenheimer Holdings Incorporated restated an outperform rating and issued a $24 target price, up previously from $18, on shares of Boingo Wireless in a research note on Wednesday, August 9. Jeffries Group LLC restated a buy rating and issued a $20 target price, up previously from $17, on shares of Boingo Wireless in a research note on Wednesday, August 9. Benchmark Company upped their target price on shares of Boingo Wireless from $18 to $24 and gave the company a buy rating in a research note on Friday, August 4. Finally, Zach's Investment Research upgraded shares of Boingo Wireless from a hold rating to a buy rating and set a $24 target price on the stock in a research note on Thursday, October 5. Two investment analysts have rated the stock with a sell rating, one has issued a hold rating and eight have issued a buy rating to the company's stock. Boingo Wireless has a consensus rating of buy and a consensus target price of $21.37. Shares of Boingo Wireless, Wi-Fi, traded up $2.99 during midday trading on Friday, reaching $25.10. 2,122,338 shares of the company's stock were exchanged, compared to its average volume of 377,585. The company has a debt-to-equity ratio of 0.11, a current ratio of 0.47, and a quick ratio of 0.47. Boingo Wireless, Nasdaq Wifi, last issued its quarterly earnings data on Thursday, November 2. The technology company reported $0.09 cents, EPS for the quarter, topping analysts' consensus estimates of $0.13 cents by $0.04. Cents. Boingo Wireless had a negative net margin of 11.75% and a negative return on equity of 23.73%. The firm had revenue of $53.66 million for the quarter, compared to analyst estimates of $50.22 million. During the same quarter in the previous year, the business posted 15 cents, EPS. The firm's revenue was up 31.5% compared to the same quarter last year. Equities analysts expect that Boingo Wireless will post minus 0.66 earnings per share for the current fiscal year. In other Boingo Wireless news, Director Michael Finlay sold 14,493 shares of the company's stock in a transaction dated Tuesday, August 8. The shares were sold at an average price of $18.08, for a total value of $262,033.44. Following the completion of the transaction, the director now owns 60,498 shares in the company, valued at approximately $1,093,803.84. The transaction was disclosed in a legal filing with the SECT, which is available through the SECT website. Also, CFO Peter Havanier sold 18,552 shares of the company's stock in a transaction dated Thursday, September 14. The stock was sold at an average price of $21.31, for a total transaction of $395,343.12. The disclosure for this sale can be found here. In the last 90 days, insiders sold 270,778 shares of company stock valued at $5,291,249. 7.70% of the stock is owned by insiders. Several institutional investors have recently bought and sold shares of Wi-Fi.
Legal and General Group PLC boosted its holdings in shares of Boingo Wireless by 3.9% in the second quarter. Legal and General Group PLC now owns 9,149 shares of the technology company's stock valued at $137,000, after acquiring an additional 341 shares in the last quarter. Royal Bank of Canada boosted its holdings in shares of Boingo Wireless by 1.3% in the second quarter. Royal Bank of Canada now owns 10,448 shares of the technology company's stock valued at $156,000, after acquiring an additional 135 shares in the last quarter. Hubs Asset Management Americas Inc. bought a new position in shares of Boingo Wireless in the first quarter valued at approximately $159,000. Aperial Group LLC bought a new position in shares of Boingo Wireless in the second quarter valued at approximately $164,000. Finally, American Century Companies Inc. bought a new position in shares of Boingo Wireless in the second quarter valued at approximately $164,000. Institutional investors and hedge funds own 88.63% of the company's stock. About Boingo Wireless Boingo Wireless Incorporated is a provider of commercial mobile wireless fidelity, Wi-Fi, internet solutions and indoor direct attached storage, DOS, services. The company operates as a service provider of wireless connectivity solutions across its managed and operated network and aggregated network for mobile devices such as laptops, smartphones, tablets and other wireless-enabled consumer devices.